All right, and welcome back, every to EGF Season 3 for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We've got Wichita State University and St. Peter's University. Of course, I'm PBE, and my lovely co-cast. Big Ben, thank you for calling me lovely, man. You know, I haven't shaved today, so I was a little bit worried about it. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> but we got some more high-intent action from you guys. Uh, for those a little bit curious about the results from these two gentlemen, I believe Wichita State is two and four, while St. Peter's is unfortunately on a little, little bit of end of zero oh and six. Mm -hmm. uh, so once again, this would be a good start for you know St. Peter's if they are able to you know throw the hands of the WSU boys. But we'll begin to our first match here immediately, actually. Yeah, we've got Ricardo, if I remember correctly, and we've got from WSU. Uh, uh, Sleepy Joe. Yes, Sleepy Joe. So, Sleepy Joe definitely having something to prove here. You know, bringing out that Mithra. Definitely a very good character. For reasons we just saw, that Foresight is a strong tool. Uh, Foresight's kind of ridiculous. Changes lives a little bit. A little bit of uh, what time. Oh my oh. god, we know what changes lives too? That Nitty from Captain Falcon. Yep, Stomp Knee is old as time. As old as time is a track I never get tired of. Mm-hmm. Oh? And we got the Tekken music on, too. Oh, man, he's got that good change, too. I'm a big fan of them already. Oh, that forward smash almost killing, actually. Oh, ugh. But you know what does kill? A pyro of anything. Yeah, pyro backer able to kill. And now we're both pretty much even. These guys have been playing in each other's face like wild men. Like you're about to see maybe end of the stock there. Oh, I feel like that could... Oh, we killed himself accidentally! Oh. We're down to the last stock already! What is going on? Wow. This is a speed run of games! Backwards, long jumping, skipping 113, whatever you want to say. This is a... They are just trying to end this as fast as possible. Oh, he just knee! Oh! Wow, he barely missed a dead air to punish the, um, the get-up attack. But my goodness, Ricardo is on him like white on rice! Yeah, I love to see this kind of action right now, but Sleepy Joe trying to end this type of action. Oh, that is, they were going for the right idea because Photon Edge, when moving, it like that hurt box only moves in a straight line, but you got to get it timed right. Oh, missing in there to possibly end the stock, and now he's off stage. How do you get out the corner versus Pyro? Oh, the back here, did he get the sweet spot of the back here? Wow, he's going nuts right now. Ricardo wants to put his team more than he will. First game, going to Ricardo. That was not 0-6 behavior right there. That was not 0-6 behavior at all. They were like, you know what? We gave up those other games before to those other colleges because we liked them. But Wichita, <laughs> nah, not a huge fan. Wow. Just destructive there. Man, he, he hit him so hard. That, that game was so fast that we, we had replays from the other game before. That was crazy. <laughs> My goodness, great. You know what? A couple of the games have been a little bit, you know, long, you know, drawn out and whatnot. I am happy to have a Captain Falcon out here. I am happy to have a uh, Pyro out, out here, too. And look at that game, too. Not worth it, in my opinion, but you know what? It ended up being worth it for Ricardo at the end. Yeah, I mean, they got a point on the board. They could have gotten two, but, you know, one point's still good. Ricardo kind of playing in your face too. I, like I was not expecting that type of gameplay. Yeah. Just like off the bat, I was like, "All right, you know, St. Peter's are not doing too too hot in brackets, so or as far as the season goes, anyway." So I'm like, expecting to get blown up. And apparently not. They never have Ricardo on their team. Yeah, they were just waiting for Ricardo, I guess. Just like he's got this. <laughs> he's got this. He's gonna get a W on the board for us, and he's definitely gonna bring this home for you know, mm -hmm. uh, St. Peter's, uh, us of St. Peter's. So, Wichita State University, you guys like, yo, man. All right, Sleepy Joe. We need you to calm down a second. Let's talk about this. Maybe a little group chat would probably be a good idea. Yeah, a little a little kumbaya. Yeah, right, a little kumbaya, kumbaya to find out how to stop this Falcon from going all nuts on you. I mean, that's a good thing about, like, you know, in between games, having the, the ability to talk to your team and whatnot. So, mm -hmm. I feel like that's going to be something we should be seeing from Wichita State University. They're, they're two and four right now, but they're not two and four by accident. Yes, exactly. And another thing to consider, it's not just in between games. You can actually talk to your teammates during the games, so they can just receive that in-the-moment help. Mm, well, I, 
Hopefully you can, you know, concentrate on that when homeboy's yelling his there, don't roll! And like Captain Falcon's rushing you down the whole time. Just <laughs> <laughs> My goodness gracious. That was a uh, super fun gameplay. I didn't realize I liked this matchup that much. It'd be interesting to see if, of course, both players stayed in character. I'm pretty sure Ricardo just picked his stock and Falcon worked out for him, kind of dominated on that last stock too. And mm -hmm. uh, we'll be seeing with if we're going to be seeing the same characters from, um, of course, Sleepy Joe, if he's going to be saying Pirate Mythra. Yeah, I mean, that was just a fun set, or not fun set, fun game to watch. I don't know. Yeah. Just in general. It was very like a fun set. Yeah, it'll be a fun set. So we're getting to the next game here soon, very, uh, very soon, guys, I'm sorry. It's been a long night of commentary. My words are trying to get all over the place when I try to say things that's a part of the say at all. But game two is upon us. Still sticking with the Captain Falcon, still sticking with the Pirate Mythra. Yep, and Ricardo has that uh, Terry profile picture, so misleading the opponent a little bit before every set. Sleepy Joe is such a perfect name for a Terry player. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like it's just a good name for a Terry player. <laughs> no, no, no hate at all. Oh my god! Wow. Oh. Seems like these two playing very violently, you know? They don't they have no time to waste. They've got things to do. They got things to do. Oh my god, he almost actually tried for that. And he actually did die for that! <laughs> Ricardo covering every option. You thought you were safe for me? Guess again. He is every step ahead. Ricardo just has that psychic ability. Oh good die good DI on the down throw there, so that way he wouldn't get followed up from there. Wow, Forzite is helping so much in this. Oh, what a down smash. I almost caught Bad DI, too. All right, he did catch Bad DI, which puts him in a horrible area. Can he make it back to ledge? Ooh, okay. <gasps> Man, Falcon oh. is hunting this woman, but he's gonna okay. die to another B. The hunter became the hunted for a second there, but I mean... Oh, he's, he's out for blood right now. Yeah, he's doing a lot of downers. I, <laughs> I wonder what he wants. Oh, trying to cover a roll, maybe. Accidental air dodge puts him in the corner, though. <gasps> Sleepy Joe finally gets a momentum for himself here. He's been kind of like, you know, fighting for his life, it feels like. Oh, no more win. That was good. Oh, my, up. oh my god, that almost killed. Just a jump out. No. Oh my God. The does cheeks not, from Falcon take the stock. Does the group is maximum. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. My goodness, Ricardo. Please calm down. This is for everybody. This is for friends. Oh, you were trying to get the 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 fastball up air to our power. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, what? Ricardo. <laughs> I can't words. <laughs> Why? Who hurt him? Why are you playing like this? This is not Owen Zig's behavior whatsoever. Bruh. I need to see Ricardo's uh, record. Did Ricardo play for these guys before? I don't believe he played for these guys before. He has played for these guys before, apparently. Having someone like this as your opener is a statement, for sure. I mean, the way he's playing, if the rest of his team could match that energy, the St. Peter's University is going to collect the first dub of the season right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, for sure. Ricardo, like, I'm a Ricardo fan now. I'm a huge Ricardo fan, man. You know, if he's got a t-shirt, like the hat or anything like that, man, I'll buy that stuff off you, bro. Just hit me with the merchandise, man. If Ricardo has 100 fans, I'm one of them. He has, If he has <laughs> one fan, I am that fan. If he has no fans, I am no longer part of the... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for real, bro, Ricardo was kind of... At a certain point near the end there, I couldn't even speak anymore. I was like, oh, we tried to cover this and that, blah, 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 and he... Oof. Mm. I felt like I got hit by Captain Falcon, so... Yeah. I could feel it, like... Here. <laughs> in my heart, <laughs> I didn't yeah. even know what was going on. That was such good gameplay for Ricardo. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, I mean, St. Peter's University, you know, 
just got the lead thus far and looking yep. really, really strong there. I don't even remember the amount of stocks that were at the last part of that there. I think it was a, what, a two stock, I feel like? Mm-hmm. Yeah, one stock and then two stock. So going to have a good amount of a point lead right now thus far. Uh, not a huge point lead, but a good lead to begin with. Yeah, it's, it's a good lead to have, though. Especially because that means that if Wichita takes this next set, they have to get double two stock in order to take a lead. Mm, very much possible. I mean, we've seen it happen in uh, all the sets that we've, of course, been watching mm -hmm. thus far. But last time when we had a 2 and 14 versus an 0 and 6 team, the 0 and 6 team did not do nearly as good in the beginning. Yeah. The 0 and 6 team, Niagara, did not win a single game. Meanwhile, Ricardo's out here winning a set in a blazing pace. Blazing fast pace, too. Put that on speedrun.com. I'm I'm glad too because I woke me up a little bit, man. I've been just doing commentary, but like, oh man, he's back over this, and like Carl was like, all right, I hope you're ready, bro. I hope you're ready. I'm about to have the most fun of all time. Mm -hmm. Out here throwing back airs, going for the up airs, trying to get with the up tilt. He killed him with the booty cheeks of Falcon. Did you see yeah. that? Yeah, those cheeks are dangerous. Made of steel, adamantium, something. I don't know what they're made of. They're made out of something radioactive, clearly, because they're killing. <laughs> they're definitely killing. Uranium cheeks. My goodness. All right, so if I'm Wichita State, you know, I'm Wichita State University. I'm like, okay, let's let's talk for a second. What happened? These guys are supposed to be free. Let's congregate and see what just happened there. Because you brought it before. Oh, and sixteen. They have not won a single, uh, you know, battle thus far. This might be the first one they're able to put up for the league. And that's going to be, that's a, that's a feel-good story for them. That's not a feel-good story for Wichita State University, though. So I imagine we're seeing a lot of talks with the bands and whatnot. So, I mean, Peter, it's plugged in PBE. Be sure Where's to follow going? Mick Benedict over there. Yeah, I, I'm full of energy right now. Ricardo gave me all that, that juice, bro, man. I, yeah. I'm ready for the next match. I need you guys to get, get into it right now. I need it now too. We've got N City coming from uh, Wichita, and we've got Sky from St. Peter's. They're just doing their bands right now. Battlefield, FD, and PS2 are banned, so probably going to be either Smashville or Town. So we're going to be hearing Animal Crossing music. Oh, not, I'm not excited about hearing Animal Crossing music <laughs> unless it's Saturday. Shout out to my boy KK. Uh, but like, you know, we have some good action again. Once again, mm -hmm. uh, already exposed the first set. Let's see what St. Peter's got to maybe continue momentum, or if WSU can, you know, stop them and remind them, like, hey, you know what? This is the pecking order here, all right? It's, it's supposed to be us versus you. And so N City is a, from what I remember, a Palutena player. So Palutena, very good character. And Sky, I don't see any information on them. But apparently, they have a box player. Another Falcon player, apparently. I, if this is not a Falcon player, I'm, I'm, I'm tapped in. I'm in there. I'm plugged. <laughs> I, I, I want to see all of this. <laughs> so it's going to be very interesting. Also, Palatina, the forgotten top tier. Uh, I feel like uh, a lot yeah. of people were kind of sleeping on the character. I'm like, you know, this character's bad. And then, like, you know, Chag's out here. I, I think making yeah. top eights with this character, I want to say. Yeah. Yeah. Made several top eights at Glitch. I'm pretty sure it Super Smash. No, not Super Smash. Kind of. I think this past tournament as well. Okay, so our stream runner sounds very unhappy. So we're going to be moving to the game. I think they're playing already. Let's get into it, guys. Yeah. Sorry for the itchy. Oh, it is another Captain Falcon player. Oh, oh, sick! I'm super. Wait, is, is this from St. Peter? Another St. Peter's Captain Falcon? Are you guys just yep. made for the steal? <laughs> this is already one of my favorite teams now. They all have Captain Falcon. They're, this is actually actually sick. A and double Captain Falcon. Guy. Oh, but it looks like Sky is going in the air right now. A lot. So. Ooh, but yeah, not getting... his name. Oh, what oh. a good whip punish in the forehead. What crazy eyes from Sky is. Mm -hmm. oh, has him in the corner though. Trying to catch this girl. And he gets away from him. Holding shield and firing with the instant dash attack, that was so smart. 
Oh, getting in here like that with the up smash. So painful, but... This is still definitely doable here. Like, 119. Very dangerous. Oh, okay. oh. multiple nares here. Dragging him across the stage. It gets 50%. Bad mm -hmm. character, by the way, supposedly. Yeah, uh, I think people just called the character bad because now the, char the character's grab is like a normal character's grab instead of a... Bigger than Texas. Yeah, instead of a Jedi command grab that she used to have. <laughs> oh, either way, NC is looking really good in the stock. And I'm not, not be able to find it, but finally it does there. Kind of forces them, forces them in a checkmate situation. Yeah, I'm loving all these ledge trumps from Sky. Yeah, the ledge trumps and like the threat of a ledge trump too, which is kind of mm. forcing uh, Entity to pick an option real quick. And they did the Phantom Footstools too? Wow. I'm surprised from this level of play, from like a team that's 0 and 6. Like, what? Yeah, like, to be honest with you, this is like, I feel like a very high octane game right here. And both these players are doing some really, really good options. Ooh. Oh, missing there. I'll try to call out a Nair, uh, aggressive option there, but got hit with the last part of the lingering Nair. It's a grab. Up. Oh, oh, try to go for it. The Nair was able to cover the air dodge too. And the there, who takes back the lead, Sky! Wow, I'm loving this. Just going off stage, going, okay, I think I'm not going to edge guard you. Wrong. Oh, that back throw almost killing, actually. Oh, aggressive Nair to get off the stage? Or get off the ledge, I'm sorry. But I mean, Man, we're already down to the last talk, and you know, it, it's three minutes, or at least four minutes here, but man, it's been a fun four minutes. Yeah, it hasn't felt like three minutes. It felt like, it felt like maybe one. Why oh, he has no jump? Another back in there, not able to cover the uh, mix get up with a medium smash. Oh! oh there's the forward air. If it were just a little bit better into the spacing, that would have been a game right there. It definitely would have been going. Try to try to fake it left trump right there so that way he can roll in. But N City not falling for it. Or throw him off stage. If he eats an up B in the corner, I think he actually is just, just dead. Another left trump! You are dead! What a great recovery! That was so good seeing okay, they're probably gonna go for a, a dare to get my recovery here. I'm just gonna go away from the stage. Once again, another less trouble. Just something broke into the office just in time. But the LP kills the way it grows! Come on! Sending him to the sky and taking AW. The St. Peter's boys are supposed to be mad! What is going on here? 016, by the way. 016, by the way. Oh, and 16! They're supposed to be bad! What are they doing winning games? The and NCD. The city. My god! They've got a third and fourth Falcon too. Oh my! Bro, this team is hot. This team is fire, and they are looking like fire. Both Ricardos, uh, both Ricardo and Sky have taken the first game. Let's see if Sky can do a repeat and maybe take a second game here. If he does, this puts him at a dramatically good lead. Yes, it makes it so difficult. If if he wins this, it makes it so difficult for Wichita State. My God. Man, how many Falcons are on this team? You said there's four Falcons in total, I think? Yes, there are four Falcons on this team. Four. <laughs> this is like, a, this, this for me, this is a commentator's like dream. Just Damn. four Falcons Damn. in a crew battle? I'm so happy about this. <laughs> Sick. Because even if they play as like a Sonic, it's still going to be a fun game. Oh, I love man, my goodness. Now. Okay, which is our fate? Universities definitely gotta be looking at each other like, man, okay, what is Falcons worth matching? Let's, why don't we all just pick Game of One? <laughs> oh, my goodness. My goodness. That was so much fun. So, so, uh, sorry, we're, I, was, I take fun a whole lot, but like, that's what Smash Bros. Ultimate is to me, man. Like, you know, mm -hmm. it's a fun game to watch. I wanna have a blast watching it, and having these players, uh, both the universities battling the hard out is just amazing. And this is one hell of an underdog story right now. They're, this turn from underdog to maybe being the dog, at least when it comes between these two. Can Wichita State University bounce back? Do you, do you feel like that at all, Peter? Because it feels like this momentum is going in the favor. Yeah, this is just so solid for St. Peter's right now. I would be surprised if NCD is able like that momentum. And the, like, it was a bit of a comeback there from Sky as well. Like it was showing a lot of adaptations there. And I feel like if 
guy can just get like a few more interactions done, like seeing how NCD reacts to being ledge trump, then we could see possibly like even more momentum going. Yeah, because at this point, when he's forcing on his ledge trumps, NCD has to really just kind of guess. And if he doesn't go for a ledge trump, he's getting hit with immediate back air. So it's gonna be good to see what kind of adaptation NCD can do here. I mean, they're from a good state. They went two and four for a good reason. Oh, and unfortunately, that reason is not going to be shown today. And a little bit of a taunt from uh, Scott. Oh. That was unfortunate for NCD. And now that means that a player who already runs hot with momentum is just going to be running even hotter. Just like magma right now. Oh my god. He, he tried to react to that knee, actually. Good gracious. NCD cannot get any room away from this Falcon. Scott has been in his face the whole time. <gasps> but finally seeing some good stuff from him. Good advantage state from NCD. That's a dash attack. Tries to call it a jump there. Oh, he's in there. That's no need. Oh. <gasps> Peter, what is going on right now? Captain Falcon is going on. Oh, oh he had the right. My general muscle back is. He had the right idea, he just did it at the wrong time. <gasps> a three stock is potentially is on the board! What is going on? St. Peter's is not supposed to be that good! St. Peter's is not supposed to be running away like this! St. Peter's are the <laughs> destructive university! Oh. Let's get the side B there. Oh. Let's confirm there. Ooh. God. I'm loving this neutral from this guy as well. You know, just weaving in, weaving out, you know, just trying to get the bait in. So. Trying to give him a some type of option. These up there's gonna lead to some dangerous. Doesn't get the four here. Wow. He's potentially about to get the three stock if he does not get hit. But he oh. probably does. Calm for his curse. I'm so sorry, my young man. Double Nair. Ooh. Ah, Peter, my man is struggling right now. What is going on? I mean, he only needs like one more interaction and he wins. Yeah, but at the same time, Entity looks like he's trying to make a little bit of a comeback here. But it's going to be so hard. <gasps> his team is yelling in his ear, man. Stop getting hit by this Falcon and it looks like it's working out for him. If he just spaced that a little bit better, that would have been game there too. Oh, the Nair won't be able to kill, but put them in a uh, bad situation. Ooh. That was such a good recovery there. And also such a great Nair to continue to trap. <gasps> the side B with the trade! He's on leg. Oh, great into death attack. And another fucking kick. One more fucking kick and it's over. If you get an up B, you might just die. Ah! Don't put up B there. Not able to catch him. And so that's like, still not able to kill, but the side beat that can end city makes his comeback. He, it's going to be difficult because this guy just needs one more of anything. <gasps> a gentleman would have killed there too. That's a good trade for him. And look at this combo here. So much percentage. Uh, it's end city made of the stuff of legends. Oh, big punish there, gets in there. 72%. Rain should be able to kill for Paul Tina. He shouldn't die from here? Oh, he does! He does! And once again, the Falcon City boy from St. Peter's University clutch another W. And now they are in the lead 9-0. This is not the behavior of a six of an 0-6 team. This is the behavior of a 6-0 team. This is the behavior of a godlike team. Who who beat these guys? You guys had to put them against the goats, right? Like, <laughs> they had to be fighting, like, you know, uh, who is it? East Ham, MVD, and stuff. They had to be fighting somebody really too much out of their league because these guys are playing like legends right now. Yeah, they'd have to have been playing like Colorado, Siena, Mississippi, they, schools like that where it's just like, like Mississippi has several like PR players on the Mississippi PR. They had to because, my God. This team right now that I'm seeing, there's no way that they're not losing to anybody, it feels like. They're up nine zip right now. Yeah. And they are doing it in style. Two Captain Falcons. Two!
two. Hey, we got what? Two more to go through. Yeah. I'll, I hope you guys. Are I hope you guys are ready to learn a Captain Falcon matchup today, because oh man, you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn today, Bubba. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! These guys are fantastic. But WSU, I cannot say it enough. They have the point. They have the wins. Mm -hmm. They can definitely make this happen. But they need to find some way to kind of calm them down a little bit. I feel like it's too much, a little bit high energy, and they're just like, they don't know how to combat it. We almost saw a comeback there from a man with the Palatina. It was getting really, really close. Entity was getting really, really close there for making a comeback, but unfortunately was unable to really, mm -hmm. you know, clutch it out. Yeah, it was the just too far ahead. To respond. It's going to be tough. I do know that Wichita does have quite a few good players left. Uh, they do have, if I remember correctly, they still have Geonosis. Uh, okay. Who they are bringing in right now. And five points is who uh, St. Peter's is bringing out right now. Five points is their captain. So oh. it's captain versus captain right now. Geonosis is Wichita's captain. Five points is St. Peter's captain. This is going to be a battle of the leaders here. The battle of the heavy hitters. I mean, this is where it can all start. What We're in, like, what, our uh, third match for today? Mm -hmm. uh, third match, match for, the, for this uh, particular set. So that yep. means that, like, what? It can technically go down the last game if, like, let's say momentum switches over here. So Yeah. I'm just saying, man. This will be our and first defense. If there's a double three stock, if there is a double three stock, it will even it out. Because... Double three stock gets you eight points. So. It could happen. It could happen. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see what does happen here. Original State University, of course, probably picking the characters, discussing bands at the current moment. Uh, is this the one? Is this another one of the Falcon players? Or is this a, like a maybe just like another character, of course? I have no clue. Oh, a Byleth? A Byleth oh. coming out? The MK Leo inspired Byleth? Okay. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna have a little bit more of a uh, a slower character out here, but still a very hard hitting character too. And apparently, St. Peter's is saying on on the document for them, they're fine with a target on their back. We'll prove why. <laughs> All right, they are okay. confident. Okay, I like the confidence. I mean, your team's kind of red hot right now, so I understand. Mm-hmm. I cannot say, I feel like the, the target's more on the WSU's, WSU's um, back. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. can't say that all together. That's really too hard, apparently. But WSU has to kind of like, you know, make some time for themselves. Like I said before, like if you're the 0-6 team, going down 0-9 is fine. But you're not the 0-6 team. The 0-6 yeah. team is winning this affair. So WSU has to really respond. This is a very crucial game to yes. really switch momentum. This has been too low. Back to back, I want to say, right? Yeah, two two O's in a row. And convincing ones at that. Yeah. Gonna have to see something better from the WSU boys, but I said it's all starts here. They got their captain out here, the guy that gives them hope, the guy that inspires them. Versus the captain for St. Peter's University, the guy who probably inspires hope and gets those boys to run in as good as they are right now. So. Hmm. I mean, yeah, with, yeah. A, with a opener like that, you are bound to have your teammates just feel like they are on top of the world. Yeah, I don't even know they're trying to advice to one another. They're just like, kill him! Destroy him! <laughs> they're just doing like <laughs> up airs and stuff. Like, I, I don't even think they're just trying to advice. They're like, yeah! The whole time is here! <laughs> but I, mean, I, think I, just, I think they're just looking at their stages right now. Um, Let's see here. They're going PS2. I think they're just doing a button check right now. Okay, hopefully an actual button check, because, you know, they've been, they've been catching us sleeping for a second. Man. I don't want to say they're catching us sleeping. They've just been telling us lies, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, this is a button check, and it's like the most aggressive button check of all time. And like, no, that's no, that's not right. It's incorrect. And then, and then there's the, uh, the, uh, looked like a button check game. The Sonic versus Fox. Oh yeah, that said that took like 20 years. Yeah, <laughs> that was a little Fred, bit. Just first three minutes were just them standing across each other, just looking at each other. Man, no interactions, but we're gonna definitely see some interactions here. Wow, what a, uh, uh, the third match. Byleth versus Bowser. Ooh. Big Daddy B out here. 
absolutely in oh Genosis is getting a bit of a lead but I'm surprised like how good the players are at getting those phantom footstools like so many combos that normally hit are just not working because the phantom footstool comes out that shows really good play and also shout out to Gimmer for creating that tech too yep the Gimmer oh oh a B punish oh oh what a oh, spot that too. Was such a good read Oh, he's getting closer and closer to death. I think a side B command grab might be able to kill off that platform, actually. <sighs> ah. <laughs> Didn't fade back enough because if they faded back. <gasps> oh, wow. Ooh. Okay. Oh, such good reads from uh, Genosis right now. Yeah, I think he's knowing that he wants to go for a defensive option as soon as he throws out. Oh, wow. That's <gasps> so much damage. 61. Oh. Oh, my. The read on the, the roll? Is this a respawn back? Is Gio, is Gio about to, to tell these guys what it's really all about? Ugh. And Genosis hasn't taken a single hit this stock. Oh, what a walk back. I was scared. My man cannot get out the corner. He rolled again, but he didn't get the proper reaction that time. And five points needs a kill as soon as possible. But it's Good so thing he has enough rage on the side. If he gets a back air or something like that, I mean, I don't think it'll kill Bowser, but it'll put him, put him on notice. <gasps> oh, oh my nice spot dodge! You gotta stop spot dodging. You keep getting red, and you keep dying for possible chance for a three stock. This would be a great response from the leader, but the three stock will have an immediate F smash. That was so good there. And five point is probably feeling alive right now. Being able to at least take that stock, but Geonosis going, get back in the grip. Oh man, 79%. Okay, going a little bit too crazy. But doesn't really matter. Geo is filling it right now. Show his boy, this is how it's done. What? There was not enough time for Bowser upbeat? Maybe you messed up the buffer, maybe? Maybe. Oh wow, he's getting less trapped here. Bowser can actually just die in his cat. Okay, there's an off train! Oh okay. man, and a down smash able to close it out. What a great respawn, a response retort from the WSU boys. <sighs> WSU needed that. Wichita was feeling down, and Geonosis is here to bring them back to life, resurrect them. And I mean if if Geonosis can just play like that game two as well. And if five points doesn't make enough of a uh, adaptation, then this could just be destruction. I mean, what, well, we love a two stock right there. So if he's able to get three stock, uh, I mean, you know more about the points than I do. I'm not gonna even try to, you know, hold you up. I feel like that'd be a really good, you know, bounce back for the team. And it was, five points probably would have been able to kill on that F smash too, if they just didn't charge it quite as long. If they just let it rip just a little bit before, Maybe looking for like a spot dodge himself. I don't know whatever case, but WSU boys at least got a game on the board now and could possibly get a set on the board too. Yep, that's important because right now it's two to nine. And if Genosis can take this game with a three stock, it will make it seven to nine. And that will be just one pretty much even or in just one set. One, See if it happens here. Okay, getting twenty percent off the fire breath. Actually, you know that's a blessing compared to what percent you can actually eat from it. And I'm loving this much more patient play right now from Five Points. You know, using the range of those uh, aerials to be able to actually keep away from Bowser's out of shield options. Oh, don't shield that. Okay, all right. <laughs> that actually just breaks shields, though. You don't want to eat yep. that at all. Oh. All right, you went a little bit too crazy with that down smash right there. Did not die not, for it though. Not spot dodging this time around though, and actually not getting hit because of it. Oh, I spoke a little too soon. Yeah. What a roll in. Nope, up, he had a shield to punch that, uh, that Nair. Barely missing the up tilt there. And now we're back to the footsie area. Oof. And in the footsies, by look, it's definitely gonna be Bowser. But Bowser has the speed though. Oh, he does he what? The he does. That's what good for Gio. That? I'm so confused as to what happened. 
Well, whatever happened, it was good for the WS New Boys as now Geo takes the lead, but it's a fraudulent lead. At 150, you can actually still die to anything. That's true, and ooh, five points is looking a little bit desperate here. Oh my goodness! How? Get out of my head, Charles! Get out of my head! Okay, all right. Okay, okay. Even stocks right now, and just needs a little bit to get this back to even. You know, Violet does have good damage in general. Oh, go for up B there. I'm very confident up B, but he ends up taking the stage here. Man, he's got to look out for all these big hit hits from Bowser. And of course, Jill throwing him out there. Mm hmm. Mm. Another up B took him off the stage. <sighs> and at 160, oh man, so many death options. F tilt, up tilt, command grab. Oh, he ripped the command grab. This unfortunate for him. <laughs> and five point is making quite a bit of a comeback. And because he has all of this rage here, it's max rage. Rage caps out at 150. A forward smash will just kill. Oh. Unfortunately, we won't be seeing that story played out on stream thus far anyway. He's down to his last talk. Potential last talk anyway. Oh. Oh, command grab. Come, come to daddy. And the big thing about command grabs is the moment they start being landed, it just does so much mental damage to the opponent. <gasps> you, you, you spot that with that? What a grab there, too, from a... Oh, oh no! Oh, and the snipe! Five point. What an intense game here. But it will all end right there with the back air. Gio puts a W up for his boys. He said, that's how you do it. Stop losing to these guys. Ooh. And that means that Wichita is now down five to nine. This is completely doable. What a great re uh, retort that was needed to be said. That mm -hmm. needed to happen, I should say. Because my goodness, the St. Peter's boys have been running away with it. They've been killing them. And now Gio's saying like, okay, I don't know what's going on with you guys, but let me show you how it's actually done. So great game in response. Do you think that's going to be the momentum switch that they need? That might be the momentum switch they needed. They do have Linny coming up here, and that might be a way to change it up. And if I remember correctly, Linny is a... I'm enjoying the music. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was know. Waiting for you to say something. I was like, all right, if you're not going to say something, I'm enjoying the music. was appreciating Devin's taste. Yeah. My stuff is all beat only because, you know, I'm hearing the music. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and uh, St. Peter's is bringing out Ramen. Maybe that's another one of the Captain Falcon players. I mean, it would have to be one of the, another one of the Captain Falcon players because, like, we only saw one Bowser, or not Bowser, a Byleth. Yeah. So. It would have to be there's two more Captain Falcon players left versus, you know, the rest of Wichita State University, which Wichita State University has not shown the known the Captain Falcon matchup thus far. Yeah, that's true. All right, I didn't hear that, my man. Uh, what did you say? So, Cuffy. Cuffy is a... D, 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 main, and he's on box. That's an interesting combination. A hitbox, D, D, main. You don't even need the hitbox, really. I don't even know why you went there, but all right, cool. So, <laughs> I understand. So, D, 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 uh, out here. That character is, um, I feel like that character's obnoxious on Wi-Fi. I'm, I I don't think people talk about that character enough on Wi-Fi. That character is really annoying, though. Yeah, it's a threat. Because Gordo is, uh, man, once it hits you, it's very tilting. Plus, it's one of the better lead trapping tools as well. I'm not gonna pretend like DD is like a super good character. I'm not gonna lie to you guys like that. But I do think he does have a annoying side to him. And you know, if you don't know the DD matchup, it could be very, very tilting uh, dealing with mm -hmm. a like a high, like high tier DD. I mean, we saw John on this. <laughs> a streamer saying something I can't. <laughs> yeah. So, 
I will not repeat the words that he said. <laughs> but it did uh, it did have an F. It was not free. Uh, I just don't know what you guys know that. But uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, this could be a very interesting match. This is going to be the most crucial matchup right here. Because, like, either they, uh, St. Peter's University, you know, takes the set, or takes the set right here, pretty much kind of, like, you know, confirms that they're going to win the entire set here. Or, mm -hmm. Wichita State University brings it back one more game, and then the last set that we have is just, you know, down the wire, both these teams going to be sweating. Mm hmm I mean, Cuffy, from what I remember, uh, just from looking up, is a Tri-State player that does okay so that's definitely a threat especially because a lot of the players in this league are around that same skill level so that'll be definitely something that Wichita is gonna have to sweat over and Ramen is apparently a min min mate so that'll be threatening very scary he's the first min min main we've seen on stream actually yeah both have an original one but you know yeah and then they just didn't, they just didn't go Min Min. They went Samus and ZSS. Yep, and you know, in a matchup that's actually pretty, not that bad for a Min Min, and they just got anything else. So we can see a Min Min come out of here. I'm pretty sure we're getting a lot of talks and, uh, you know, debates and whatnot between the two uh, colleges, because I once again cannot stress this enough. This is a very, very crucial game for both of them. So what you thought takes this next set, that means the last set is going to come down on the wire. Do the St. Peter's want that kind of like, you know, that pressure on them at all? I don't think they would. I think that would be really, really bad, uh, especially after such a great momentum start from both Ricardo and Sky. So, mm -hmm. oh, it looks like they're coming in right now. Let's see who Ramen picked. Three, it's the two, Captain Falcon. Let's go. Let's Cuffy. go. Cuffy keeping the Falcon out here. He said, I don't know who the other guy was, but he's not my captain. <laughs> All right, Ramen versus Lenny, and Lenny is uh, keeping him at ledge right now. Yep. Oh, wow, Lenny with the zero to death. That was hot. My man's looking on fire right now. Has not been touched at all, but finally getting hit with the side B. But once again, this would be a great start for uh, the WSU boys. So if they take this set, this is, it changes everything dramatically. For sure. Ugh. But I mean, it looks like Ramen is not giving up so easily. Just because he got zero to death does not mean he is going to just go down. He's putting up quite a fight. He's putting up quite a fight right now, but <laughs> Lenny is building that wall. He's not wanting to deal with this Falcon whatsoever. I mean, I could completely understand why. You don't want to get hit by those. Yeah, don't get hit by knees. You don't get, you know, exploded. And every time Cuffy, you know, or Ramen teases it, that that still grabs him. Excuse me. Oh, he tried to break the he tried to break the shield, but it wasn't quite enough. And because of that, it's now even stock. So this is still doable for Ramen here, especially because Captain Falcon's just got that blow up factor. Wow. Yeah, a huge snowball factor that he almost just had happened on screen, but gets it with the oh. F smash twice. Yeah, recovered a little bit too high, despite Mega Man having a great forward smash, recovering high recoveries. All right, Lenny looking like he might show up in the, uh, the same vein as Geo, as in taking a set from these guys. But it starts with the first game, and this is a very good first game for Lenny thus far. Oh, the jab locks? Okay. Oh, oh my, my man is swinging all the big buttons. And I mean, they almost hit. <laughs> trying for a fucking kick out there, but it's not happening. Out of all these active so hitboxes out here, buddy. He wants it so bad. He wants that up smash so bad. <laughs> he might even stop fishing because if he keeps fishing for stuff, he's gonna find himself in the corner. He find, might find himself in the vein of death. In the way of death, I'm sorry. If you go fishing too hard, you might catch a shark, and that's not what you want. Oh, almost ran into the roll there, too. And I think Lenny is. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that's not a... Ooh, that was so meaty to catch that neutral get up. Ooh, and that's two stocks, which means that it's now seven to nine. 
Lenny just needs to win this game, and it will be a lead for Wichita, and it will bring it to pretty much any team. It will bring it to the last set to decide it. Man, that F smash catching that it was so darn meaty. And Lenny with the amazing zero to death in the first stock, too. That really Ooh. kind of just like took all the momentum out of like, you know, Ryman's favor. Yes, took the win completely out of his sails. I want to this was shown by a great team captain. The team captain showed up by Gio. He said, hey guys, I don't know why you guys are losing these guys. Let me show you how it's done. And Lenny was like, oh, okay, I'll follow that suit too. And look at it. One game up right now could be a possible 2-0. And if you brought it up yourself, man, if this goes down the last game, who do you favor? Ugh, I don't know. It's going to be so scary for either team because regardless of who wins this, well, no. If Wichita wins this, it's anyone's set. If Wichita wins this, is anyone's set. And, I mean, I think even if they still lose right now, it would be, what, 2-1? to one? And I think they can still technically make the, the W here happen for mm -hmm. them? Yes, for sure. Because, so, even if St. Peter's wins this set, it will still be most likely just only four points that they get, which would be 13-7. to seven. That is two two stocks of stuff to tie. So... But that's still pretty hard to get. So Wichita definitely win this. And they want to win it convincingly. We're getting to our next game here, fellas. Let's see what happens. Does this mess up everything in history? A Robin. A Robin? I thought this was a Min Min secondary. Well, whatever the case, Captain Falcon is gone. We are down to the zoners now. I have no idea how this matchup goes. Yeah, I've never seen people play in this matchup specifically before either. But Robin, you know, on PS2, you always got to watch out for that arc because you will get blown up if you get caught by one. That was a great roll in through to avoid getting caught by uh, that arc fire. As you brought it before, it can lead to so much damage. Yes, it can even lead to a kill at this point. All right, both these guys sticking it out in there in neutral. The yeah, F-Match not catching that, actually. Ooh, so smart to go for the rapid jab there. And I did not know that Thunder beats the Ash Bomber. Oh, oh no! That was, was beautiful that SDI. SDI. I, I thought that was SDI. Yes, yeah, that was beautiful SDI. Because if they didn't SDI that, they would have died 100%. Getting hit slow at the blow at 102%. You cannot jump on Robin anymore, especially with Leffen Sword. <gasps> Throwing the book back at him. I was trying to cover the jump with the forward air, but ends up catching the retreat. Oh, that puts him up high! <laughs> oh my god, he ended up going back! She does not have weapon sword at the moment, so I don't should be able to kill. Oh, it's back on board. That's aerial smash attack is in her hands now. Yo, we just shooting out here in neutral. That's crazy. Ooh, and Uppy is gone right now temporarily. They need to wait it out so that they can. Oh! Bro, you were that close quarters and you were like, I'm matching F smash? That's crazy, Lenny. You're actually wild. No! They were so close to getting that stock, but they take it anyways, and this is completely even. It's still anybody's ball game at this current moment. I mean, that took two minutes there for the first stock to be gone on both sides. And both these guys have. Oh no! You have to wait that out, Bubba. Uh, oh, wow, that wow. Great, uh, arc fire? Hold up, that makes it pretty good. That's crazy. I don't know if Lenny know that. Getting rid of the pellets is... Oh, no, and there's no arc fires left. That was a perfect situation for... Try to go for the back there. That's entirely not safe. They get the point stay with the grab. Oh, they've got Levin Sword right now. I was going to say, I think they have to book the throw. Oh, and the down smash to cover that. Oh my, that's twice now. It was so close to the arc fire connect. No way, three times! Oh, this is so scary. Off stage, can Robin make it back? And Robert will not make it back! What a head guard for me! Oh, and this is, this is so tight right now. WSU needs this to bring this to a last set. Without them, the without the last player had to play out of their mind. Uh. 
Oh, good up air to get some more damage and forward air to cover the retreat. No big punish there. But it's so scary. You're in the ledge against Mega Man. And he's been at this ledge for quite a good while. Rama is having a hard time making it back. Doesn't cover the roll there. Oh, Lenny has so much rage. This is too much rage. Anything can happen. And it does. Kill them. It finally connected. And that's the important part. Final stocks here. Especially because Robin has that blow up factor. Just able to make a comeback just off of a few interactions. This is still doable for either player. This really is. Robin is a crazy character. And we see that right there. The sword was able to mix him up, make that shield into a safe little mix up. Honestly, though, one thing we haven't really seen from Robin is that Nosferatu. It's such a good momentum. <gasps> no! And still the effect of Roman losing to that thief. We are now in the the end game, folks. This is it. It is 10 to 9 in Wichita's favor. It is down to the wire. No matter what, whoever wins this set decides the entire match. Points be damned. Who is going to take this? Both these teams have been playing out their mind. St. Peter's desperately needs a win in this season. They're down 0-6. But this is the biggest chance that I've seen anyway of them mm. get one and six. They absolutely need this win. Oh man, but WSU, man, like they were down, they were getting worked up. And now, you know, this is the time for them to get the three and four. Once you get the three and four, man, getting that four and four gets you even out. Those losses, mm -hmm. you know, don't really count that much anymore. But yeah. my God, bruh, we're in there. We're in there for a 10 set. We're in there for a great set. We are in there for a good time. Seriously. Coming out to the wire, uh, I expect, I don't know, once again, not too familiar with the players, but I, you know, I'm expecting something amazing here, man. This is gonna be two players that you are hoping for. I'm pretty sure both teams are yelling in their ears right now, bro. If you don't do this now, you're not invited to cook out anymore. Don't even come back <laughs> to the next new face ever again. <laughs> like. <laughs> The consequences are so much. Oh, Lord. So, my man PP, he's, like, he's plugged in, man. He knows all the stuff that's going on. I'm looking at the, I'm looking at who these teams are going as well. Uh, next week, St. Peter's is going against Ryder. And after that, uh, and then also Wichita's uh, Marist. So, it's going to be some tough ones for both of these teams, no matter what. It absolutely will be. Uh, so, I mean, like, you know, a good W here would be, like, you know, help with the confidence going to, you know, against Ryder or against, you know, another top university. So, mm -hmm. Nelly. I was not expecting this much of a, a, a big, out of a 0 16 versus a 2 and 4 team, I was not expecting this. For sure. As it's a lot closer than I could tell you. It's been a roller coaster too, because like it first yeah. like St. Peter's University is the best university of all time. I don't know who they lost to, but you know, uh, they they're the best university ever. And then WSU yep. came back. It oh. really shows that you got to be consistent with your team. Really, you can't sleep on anybody, man. Zero mm -hmm. sixteen, throwing the hands out here. Mm-hmm. Like they are making everyone just so scared right now. They are surprisingly hyped. Incredibly hype. I cannot wait to see this last game between these two. WSU boys have uh, taken a. I'm not, it's not even a lead at this point, man. It's 9 10. Like, it's really just like whoever takes the set. I don't think yeah. it's going to come down to a point. It's winner take all right now. And it's Cuffy versus. There it is. I don't remember who There it is plays, but I know Cuffy plays DDD. And DDD Online is. It's something. It's, it's words that we can't say on stream. <laughs> it's absolutely not fun. So, going to be seeing DDD here for, I believe, uh, you said St. Peter's, right? Yes. Okay. So, uh, DDD for St. Peter's and then for Wichita State University, uh, you know, we're going to wait to see who they pull out. But man, oh man, I can't believe it came down the wire between these two. I'm pretty sure Wichita State University was not expecting something like this.
and St. Peter's University is striving to get to this point. So, And they're going to PS2, so that means that this is a stage that I've seen quite a few DDD players, especially considering what has been banned. Quite a few DDD players do enjoy this stage because stages that are banned right now are FD, BIA, Battlefield, and Smashville. So really you only have Town and PS2 to work with here. I know, uh, well, at least the DDD band uh, in our area doesn't really like small, uh, small, Smashville, I'm sorry. I was about to say Smallville. Yeah. <laughs> the show. Uh, they don't really like Smashville that much because of the platform getting the way of Gordo sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I imagine going for PS2, still probably not the preferred stage, but a little bit more area for Gordo to run yes. free. Yes. Especially because, oh, especially because the platform does allow you to do some more dynamic placement. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to be seeing that out of the DD. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm really interested to in know who the other player plays at this point, because it, it seems like we already got in, like, you know, in stone. We're going to have a CD out here from Cuffy. For sure. It, and we're waiting for six guys. Cuffy's just checking on something because they have control issues. At, so hopefully they don't continue having controller issues. Yeah, control issues during the last crucial set. Mm-hmm. To get a W I, on the board or to not get a W at all? I would be so mad if if I were the deciding one and my controller just stopped working there. I would I would be very angry. Oh, I'd be livid. Bro, imagine you like, okay, he's going to jump here. You had the game winning up smash. Nothing comes out. Yeah. You hit with dare to the knee. Oh, man. Fantastic. Oh, okay. That's my thing across the screen, bro. <laughs> Might have to turn off their switch. Ugh. Turn off the switch. Be lucky if the controller survives, man. Be like, oh man, I can't. <laughs> Just toss this thing into another universe. <laughs> oh no, it's because their box and their Joy Cons are not working. The A button into entirely Just we're not really? working. Ugh. Okay, so sorry guys, a little bit of technical difficulties. We're getting to the next match here. I swear to you, we just have a little bit of technical difficulties. But also still, thank you guys for all tuning in. I know you guys are all supporting your colleges, all supporting all the people you love, whether they're whether you know them from college or whether you just know them as a player. We do appreciate you guys tuning into the stream for especially some great college action. We do have some more. Uh, we have one more, I think, battle left to be had, I want to say. And that'll be between two more great universities. So stay in tune for that. South Alabama versus Fairfield, I think is what it was said. So it's going to be a really, really cool set. I mean, this is a great set already. 0-16, what's it, doing way better than I would have expected versus a 2-4 and four team. And looking like they're about to add a 1 to that 1-6. and six. But it can all have to change here, depending. I mean, hopefully okay. we don't have to get you in the last part. That'd be, that'd be kind of whack. I'm not, not going to hold you up. Okay, so Cuffy has gotten his controller to work. Which is important. Okay. Because, I mean, even if one of the buttons wasn't working, one of the good things about the box is that you can swap out the switches because it does use arcade buttons. You can swap out the switches to um, to actually make it so that if you if there's a button you don't use, you can just swap out the button you do. Okay, cool. I, uh, I, I haven't really messed too much with uh, hitboxes or like any type of hitbox whatsoever, so... It's good to hear that there's like other ways around things. Yeah. If you've ever used like a fight stick before, it's pretty much the same concept. Oh, that is good to hear. Right, make sure guys keep up refreshed as well too, man. We've been on commentary mm -hmm. for way too long. <laughs> but that that being said, you know, hey, at least at least some sets have been amazing. At least this has been very entertaining for all of us guys. I hope you guys have been enjoying the train. And don't forget to follow your man, uh, Mick Benedict, at the Sky Hello. Mm -hmm. If you are from follow Texas, down here too. You definitely follow my man, PPE. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're getting some extra. Link versus DD is going to decide everything here. Oh, my. That's going to be an interesting matchup for sure. What a fair I was not expecting to see. It's going to be There It Is versus Cuffy. So I feel like Link's gonna have a better time against DDD than most characters just because Nair has a ridiculous hitbox, to be honest with you. Oh, oh. I mean, DDD's just able to get so much damage in a matter of seconds, so. Whoa. 
Oh, okay, you roll up, you rolled in uh, up smash? Okay, what a brave man. I mean, that was Gordo and up smash connecting at the same time. So. Oh, is he dead? He might die here soon. Oh. He does, and Cuffy takes the lead here. This is looking great for the St. Peter's boys. Oh, and that's 21 already. This is looking very good for Cuffy. Just needs to get a little bit more just so it's safe. Oh, has to recover it to the ledge. He probably takes ledge there. And he gets mixed in with the side beat of negative six on shield, by the way. You can't grab that. <gasps> Ooh. The bomb for a Whoa. second is still in the corner. Still having a problem with the DDD ah. right now. This is so scary. This is. It's very scary for there. Oh! <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh, if he just held that for a little bit longer. Done exactly that. Spit out the boomerang. Good patience there for Garrett as well. And he's almost brought this. Well, he didn't almost bring it all the way back. He might have just taken it back in general. Yes, he did. The upbeat Ooh. gets him the lead. The WSU boys are cheering in the background, but so are the St. Peter's boys. Mario Mano, the first game. Who's going to take this? This is dead even right now. They were just at zero. And ooh, this is so close here. It's really just down to the wire. Whoever can take this stock will have control of the momentum for most of the set, too. Absolutely will. Get the forward air there. Gets the... Oh, he almost got another forward air there. That might have... I don't know if that would have killed, but Link hits way too hard. For sure. I love the usage of those forward airs as well from... Uh, there it is. Being able to actually just, you know, get the... Uh, get the Gordos bounced back immediately. And because it's a big hitbox, you can still... You can still do some good damage. And he's doing great damage thus far. Great use of the arrow there. Or great use of uh, the absorber, sorry. A reflect. <gasps> Ooh, such a oh good job at reflecting those sort of... Oh, he's finally able to land there between Link throwing out all those big hitboxes. And he just forward air does not do it, but the next big hit from Link will be able to do it for him. Oh, he actually put himself on the platform. Will that be the end of him, though? Oh, Jet Hammer in the last game? Are you uh, The first game of this? What, what are you doing? You crazy man. You absolutely wild man. <gasps> That was so close to ending it right there. Oh, and no, the, Lord, the kick! The yeah, action kill. kick! The Kung Fu kick! I'm so surprised that Nair killed there. Bruh, oh. Nair does everything, man. Does your taxes, walks your dogs, feeds the kids, and makes you a sandwich, and more importantly, gets you a W. The WSU boys are trying to make sure that the 0-6 goes to the 0-7 for St. Peter's. But I mean, that was such a close game. It could be anyone's set still. You are not lying. This could go down to, to game three. And if it goes to game three, that'll just... Oof. That'd be insane. That'd be wild. But Coffee having a little bit of problem. There it is at the last part of that stock, man. It's kind of get, got a little bit bullied. I like to see if he does any proper adaptations here. This is going to be such a tight decision for Cuffy to just go, okay, what stage do I want? Yeah, because the stage pick here could be like, it could ruin everything for him. Or it could be everything for him too. It could take him down to the last game where he is able to win for his unit. Ooh, banning Battlefield, Smashville, and Yoshi's. Geonosis does not want those triplats. I definitely agree with banning Yoshi's and Battlefield. Those are stages you do not want to go to against DDD. Wait, so let's see. Where is the needy is going to take FD, I think. The needy town. FD, He's FD going FD town. FD it might be FD or Town City, depending. I don't know. I'm not the, I'm not the counter figure of Kelsey right now, so. I'm going to be interested to see where this goes. Man. Wichita State University. The storm was harsh. The storm was fierce. But were they able to calm it? I mean, that's the tell right here, man. St. 
Peters University, I can't say enough. Even though you guys are down 0-6, you guys are playing so good. Fantastic. I would really give a clap for you boys, man. You guys are doing fantastic, but I'm pretty sure you guys are on a W instead of, you know, elevation. You guys are the underdogs. You guys were, you know, the storytellers here. And you guys have made a great, great, and I mean a fantastic, you know, start. But can you finish your play? Peter, what do you think is going to happen here, man? I, I think it's going to be so close between these two. Like, it was already a very close game one. After these adaptations, it's going to get even closer. Ugh. I I can't I can't even call who wins it. I mean, it's in, it's in WSU's favor. They have a game to throw away. They have a game to do bad. So that's true. But that being said, they have a game to do wild stuff to uh, as well, <laughs> or wild oh, stuff sure. in. All right, what is going to happen here? Town, town is big, city, actually. Yes, town is big, so that does mean that Cuffy will have a lot of space to, you know, zone out, maybe get a bit of stuff going here. But, I mean, so far, we've seen that there it is is very good at getting rid of the Gordos or just bouncing them back, which is important. Oh, man. Uh, he's not going to attempt to bounce anything back. Oh, my God, the Gordo betrayed him. I'll smash that shield. I mean, the good thing about this stage is that if he does get hit with like an up smash at like what 130 something like that, he should maybe still be able to live that actually, just because the blast thunder is so good. Oh wow! The boomerang. The boomerang saved him right there. The tag team partner coming through in the clutch, calling in the assist. Ooh. Oh, that was great use of the platform. A phenomenal use of the platform. And is that good? Yes, it does. This is big for Cuffy. Taking that first stock now means that he can afford to play a bit slower if he wants. <gasps> oh, great combo there from, from him. Able to get 20%. Can he add more? <sighs> great throw, has him in the corner. Oh, <laughs> what in the world just happened there? How did... I have questions, but apparently I don't need answers. Wow. Get the less Trump there, and Cuffy is looking fantastic here. He's about to overlap him or possibly just kill him. Oh, dude, you should be fine. Oh, no, he went a little too high. That force, he touched the sun there for Icarus. Oh, I don't think he realized he picked up the bomb. Oh, my God, he almost died there. Ooh, great bomb recovery there. Knowing that that's the only way he was going to make it back because... Otherwise, he was just going to get blown up. Should be death? Down tilt? Uh, actually, not enough to kill. I'm surprised that's not enough to kill, considering Town has such a short side, but... Wow, Cuffy's got such a huge lead here. And it's looking almost like a two-stop. A uh, two-stop would be a great response here, to be honest with you. For sure, and it would be very, very good for just bringing it to even points before a final game. There it is, man. Looking like he's about to take this down to the last stock, actually. Don't seem like we're going to be seeing a two stock here. Goes for it all, too, but gets away with it as well. Mommy, he just tried to rob that, man. Ooh. Oh, Order has him off stage. Cuffy, what is the option here? Might be deaf. Oh, that was so close. Oh, man. Just trying desperately to get out the corner here. He ends up absorbing the boomerang instead of the Gordo. His shield is working on a prior, and we won't be seeing any more of that. It comes out of the last stock here. Does WSU run away with this, or does St. Peter's bring it down to the last game? Ugh. There it is. He's looking phenomenal right now. He's getting all the right hits. Ah, and now it's big. Now it's gone from a pretty good lead for Cuffy to <gasps> the Gordo, the Gordo going against him too. 111%. It looks like St. Peter's will be stopping yet another loss here. But Cuffy does not want to let that happen. Oh, that that Gordo did nothing for him. He has to figure out what to do on ledge. 
Oh. oh, no big punish there. Go for the dash attack. Doesn't get hit with the four there, though. Oh. Oh, oh wait, he misses again. He misses. Oh. No way in the sight. From Hayland. WSU continues. Dude, <laughs> he continues to break. Three and four. No streak, I'm sorry. Continues to streak four. I'm, I'm okay. I'm words are gone. I can't speak. Please, Peter, take it away. And there it is in a nail biter of a set, in a nail biter of a final game. <laughs> Takes it over Cuffy and lets Wichita State University beat St. Peter's. <laughs> Ooh. In a, in a clutch game. game, clutch set. Both teams played out of their mind, but only one team could survive. And unfortunately for St. Peter's, they'll have to add a seven to their losing streak right now. 14 to nine, but that was so close. Wow, what an incredible set from both combatants. What an incredible set from everybody. I cannot say enough, everybody played out of their mind. Wow, my heart, there. my heart is racing right now. Man, it might have been too long of me of commentating, or maybe that was just too hype. But I was, I, I was out of words there, man. I couldn't speak. I was like, the streak, the thing, Undertaker, blah, blah, blah. I couldn't even think, man. Like, mm -hmm. all of those guys put on an incredible performance. Oh, man. And uh, we're going to be hearing from the winner here, guys, here very, very soon. So we're going to take a small little bit of a break while we get in contact with them. We'll be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere.
All right. Welcome. Oh. All right. Welcome back, everyone, to EGF Season 3 for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Here we are with an interview with, there it is, the captain of Wichita State, Un or not the captain, uh, the final member, the the anchor of Wichita State University. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, there it is. Um, I'm feeling pretty good after that win. Uh, it was a little tight in that second game, but really pulled it through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was down to the wire there. I, I have to ask, like, I mean, you know, you know, blind of me to you know say anything about that. But were you guys looking at St. Peter's University and be like, you know what, this is about to be pretty free. You know, when 16, we're gonna go in and demolish these guys. Or were you guys like looking for that type of action the whole time? Because man, those first two games were, oh, they were rough. Um, originally, we went in a little um, hesitant or cautious just because we saw their team set up from a couple of past VODs. We saw that they were had a very weird team composition, so we were a little um, nervous in how to deal with that. Um, but we knew we had counters for most of their players, and we didn't expect to lose the first two games, but we pulled it back in the end because we knew we ultimately had better players for those couple of matchups. Hmm. Uh, how did you feel after those first two sets happened? Like, did did like did you decide to like refocus, or were you like, okay, uh, we think that this person's gonna do it? Did like uh, that Geonosis getting the win back in the team sales? Here it is. We had Geonosis as our team captain, so we had a lot of confidence in him to push the team back on their feet and to get that win. Um, we also knew it was a favorable matchup. Um, Geo does great against Bylas generally, um, and he's just an overall great player. So we had a lot of faith in him. Okay, so I also have to ask this too. You know, both of those first games happen. You know what, you guys are, you know, tough. You're like, man, it sucks. Geo brings it back. Uh, homeboy wins the next game. It's down to you versus this ddd they, with sweat coming down your face man you're like bro i don't know if i can do this man it's too much pressure like what what was going through your head um originally when i first went into the match we weren't sure who we were actually playing since they both played with the same like uh on the same switch so we weren't sure who we were actually playing but once we did once we figured out it was actually the ddd um i was I wasn't sure whether I should go Young Link or Link because I have both of those characters uh, on hand. Um, I decided to go Link though because I figured I should get whatever hits uh, I got count and I wanted those to matter more. But I was really nervous going into game one. Hmm. Yeah. And what was your team's general approach to every single match? Like, does your team like practice specific matchups beforehand? Do they like, like, do they like look at VODs? Um, we always look at VODs for the team if they're available, um, but with the way that the EGF is set up, it's hard to find them a lot of times. Mm. Uh, so a lot of the times we'll go in, look at the scores, and we'll determine like who their best players on are or who we want to counterpick, etc. Um, things like that. But we don't practice specific matchups. Okay, mm. Well, this leads me to my next question. You guys are three and four now. Uh, that, that, that three was very much earned. How do you guys feel about going to your next matchup? I mean, you could possibly even a score go 4-4 and have a chance to go positive for the season. Or it could be, you know, a 4 five, or a 3-5. Three, a three, How do you guys feel going to your next set? Um, I think we approach every week. Um, really excited to get to play the game we love and practice all week four. Um, so I think regardless of what our record is, I think every week we go in really excited to play. All right, that's a good mindset, man. I'm, I'm glad you guys are enjoying this game, and I'm glad you guys have put on one hell of a show for us, and good stuff clutching out versus St. Peter's. Once again, those guys is fantastic. Anything you need to left, left to say, uh, PB? Uh, not really. That was a great showing from your team. Good job. Keep it on in the next week, too. Thank you. Good luck to you guys, and uh, we'll be taking a small break. We'll be rest. We'll be finishing up the whole college league battles, man. We're on to our last participants stay tuned we got more action for you 